sure to take a simple TV series or a toy product and just once you made it into a movie two years make a sequel out of it apparently you can hey guys you thought of here and today I'm finally t uh, going to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows the sequel that um, didn't really do so well at the box office when it came at to the local theaters first. But, uh, I think it's starting to get more now. It's playing a picture show. It was playing at AMC. But it's playing a picture show. So, uh, let's get this review started. So, I watched the movie last night. And I'm just surprised at how good it is. I mean, I watched the first one. I wasn't a big fan of it. So, no offense to Michael Bay or anything. So, speaking of which, this movie is... Uh, to us from Michael Bay and Nickelodeon Nickelodeon movies. This is the latest Nickelodeon movie and I have to say they did a great job on the second one. Shame that it bombed at the box office. So, um, t it's about uh, Raphael, Leonardo, T Donatello, Michelangelo, April, and all the characters in the first film. So apparently uh, there's this guy played by Tyler Perry um, who frees Shredder, and um, he makes a deal with this alien dude who's in this robotic suit, and they plan to take over the world and make this portal open or something like that. So, um, I have to say, it was very interesting, and I wasn't a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, franchise growing up. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the new show by Nickelodeon. I wasn't a fan of the 2007 movie by Warner Brothers and MNG Studios, who later worked on Astro Boy and it kinda shows same kind of animation but I liked Astro Boy also the first three uh, films that came out with the Power Rangers wasn't a big fan I wonder if Jim Henson uh, made that movie because it looks exactly like the Dinosaurs TV series so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, is um, awesome I'll just say that it's the it's one of the best sequels I've ever seen in a while, and it surprised me so much. All, it, all the parts is, was entertaining, and the characters likable. Raphael was more of a, um, well, not really like a mean hearted big brother. I mean, like he was mean hearted in some of the scenes, but like he's more uh, friendly now. Um, so. Uh, we all know Michael Bay's work in the Transformers movies, and he's going to be releasing a new movie, Monster Trucks, and it played right before Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, and I'm excited for this, to see that. I hope it does well at the box office. And because of this particular bomb at the box office, I think this is the reason. Sorry, guys. Um, uh... Because I'm, in, I'm uh, the reason this bombed to the box office is because of the next movie that he's going to do in 2017. That's a got to be a huge step backwards. I know it. No offense to Michael Bay, uh, which is a fifth Transformers, which we'll get to that in 2017. So I'm excited. I'm majorly excited for F Monster Trucks, and it looks different than I thought. I was. It looked like it. I mean, I never watched the full trailer. I just watched the ending part. See if it was in reality 3D. So it. Uh, about, it's about this monster that he finds in this car lot, or in this gas station, packed um, uh, behind a, a big pile of uh, gas cans, or cans in particular. And um, they just decided to team up together to make like this monster truck team and uh, battle other competitors on the road. So it's amazing. But we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the show. Sorry, guys. Please uh, forgive me. This stupid. Ouch. Uh, sorry, I just had to do that. So um, we see uh, Will Arnett's character. Only he's taking all the credits, and the turtles don't get any credit. And I'm all like, what? The, team, the Turtles took out Shredder in the first and defeated the Foot Clan. And I'm all like, what? 
There's also a scene where they drop a slice of pizza and they hide in the Jumbotron. That's amazing. When they hide in the Jumbotron, I mean, who would notice that? But this, all the CG in the movie was spectacular, like Michael Bay's works. Um, and, uh, to be honest, um, he's actually one of my favorite directors. I mean, he directed the first two Transformers movies and the last two Transformers movies. So, to be honest, I loved it. It's an amazing sequel. And, uh, if I want to describe a few scenes that I thought were clever, was the, the pig guy and the rhino guy turning into, um, well, they were humans at first, and uh, they turned into pigs drinking this serum. And uh, I w I loved, it was more interesting, the the talk that they had. They were talking about becoming humans, but Raph Raphael threw the uh, vial away. And I thought that was pretty cool. They wanted to stay turtles and, you know, be themselves. That's a great message. That's an amazing message. So, overall, Teenage Mutant Turtles, Out of the Shadows gets a 10 out of 10. So, um, guys, I do recommend this movie. If you haven't, if you're a giant fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise, or any kind of turtle fan, and if you like the first film that came out in 2014, by the way, it's strange. I was not expecting this. It's It wasn't even two years, and we'd already gotten the sequel. I mean, I know that it's Easy to see how Alice in Wonderland got a sequel. I mean, that earned more, more like a more than a billion dollars, and it's been like six years since the film was released back in 2010. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was released in 2014. I mean, I'm like, what? You're making a sequel already? But anyway, that's uh, that's my review. What do you think of it? Is do you love this movie to death? Do you adore it? Or would you prefer the first one? Um, leave your thoughts in the towel section, not the towel section, the description section, sorry. So, uh, I'll be getting more reviews. I've already tagged down most of the movies 2016. I've tagged down Warcraft, Alice in the Looking Glass, Ice Age Collision Course, The Jungle Book, Zootopia, Kung Fu Panda 3, uh, I need to see Finding Dory, and I will see Trolls, and Storks. Don't forget Storks. So, keep playing simple, and check out my Kaboom video I just did. That was a blast making, and I hope you guys love the, that video. I love making the Sunday videos. Remember, God is important. He is everything that he should be and is in your life. Kaboom! So, I'll see you, I'll see you next time, guys. Remember, I'm just plain simple, and when times get tough, when times get when times get tough, praise God in the storm.